listen to me. I sound like a postdoc. I, I, Gordon Freeman so trapped in an elevator with Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. This is Half-Life 2. Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far And that's the least the effective crowbar ever. Seriously, though, she's evading my questions. What's it like being a Bond girl? Can you autograph my Battlestar Galactica box set that looks like the head of a Cylon? I've seen your jewelry advertisements. You should have designed the box for Half-Life 2, the orange box, because it's the worst packaging for a good game that I've ever seen. Why found in the airlock? Gordon Freeman. This is the orange box version of Half-Life 2. We're watching the Xbox 360 version. This is also available on PlayStation 3. And Half-Life 2 is one of the most popular PC action games in history. And for good reason. It's one hell of an adventure. This might cause other Resistance members to think twice before harboring Dr. Freeman. It's not all just action. There's quite a bit of problem solving in Half-Life 2. There, problem solved. There's also a lot of puzzles. In addition to that, Half-Life 2 has some of the best in-game music that I've ever heard. But wait, there's more. After playing through the game, what really jumps out at me, more than anything, what I find memorable is the sound design. This has the best sound design since Blade Runner, the movie. You know when Harrison Ford is in the elevator, just the little beeps and bloops and all the details that they have in the mix to enhance the feeling of atmosphere in Blade Runner. This game has that same attention to detail in the audio. It's amazing. Half-Life 2 is a big game. It's the kind of game that you get about halfway through and you think you're done until you realize you're only about halfway through. It's one of the few games where I was actually exhausted after playing it. Perhaps that's how Gordon Freeman would have felt. This game certainly excels in many areas. I mentioned the sound design, everything about Half-Life 2 transports the player into the world of the game. The experience of playing this game reminds me a lot of Bioshock, another game that uh, really succeeded in transporting the player into another time and place with ambiance, with design, with sound, and overall production value. Mirror's Edge also does it very well. Half-Life 2 has that kind of quality. While there's a lot of action in the game and some really exciting firefights, it's not the kind of game where you follow a very clear, predetermined path and just shoot whatever bad guys and aliens come your way. At many times during the game, it does not hold your hand specifically and tell you where to go. You have to figure things out for yourself. That's probably what separates Half-Life 2 from other games like Resistance, Fall of Man, and the bigger shooters like the Call of Duty and Halo series. 
The storyline is interesting where you're fighting against the Combine, an alien civilization or whatever that's enslaved humanity. It has some twists and turns throughout the very lengthy game. I, I don't know that it's the most exciting story I've ever seen, but it's good enough and certainly cool enough to hold the player's attention, or at least to hold my attention throughout the entire game. Which seriously, is like two to three times the length of an average shooter these days. They rarely make these games anymore because now they're all about multiplayer, like Valve's own Left 4 Dead series, which, uh, which you will actually see a lot of similarities between these two games. Half-Life 2 has a lot more in common with games like GoldenEye, like Bioshock, games that take you from point A to point B and put you through hell to get there. After a while, I felt that the battle started to get a bit repetitive at times, so the game's not perfect, but really what is, except for Robotron 2084. If you've already played this game, like many of you have, this has been one of the most requested reviews, then I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about. But for many of you who have not played Half-Life 2, who see the package on the shelf and say that's some really ugly packaging artwork, because the orange box artwork does not represent the game whatsoever. You get more in the orange box than just Half-Life 2, believe it or not. As big as this game is, the orange box contains more. I'll get into more of that in part two of this review, but if you've been sitting on the fence or seen the game out there, it's very affordable these days, and just haven't made up your mind about playing Half-Life 2, I can tell you if you like other science fiction action games or adventure games, with a lot of detail, a cool storyline, and some incredible action and production value, Half-Life 2 is a game you should play. It's on 360, it's on PS3, it's also on the PC. And I'll see you back here in part two, where I'll take a closer look at the orange box and what all is contained within. What are we Well, we're in luck. Vital sign critical. Emergency. Using 